purpose behind supplements and what they can do for you. Um, Um, today we are talking about supplements, the ones that I use in particular through my fitness journey uh, currently and ones that I would recommend for you. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the purpose behind supplements and what they can do for you. Um, so if you are interested in learning more, make sure you continue to watch. <laughs> supplements, right? Supplements are exactly what they sound like. They are supplemental. There's supplemental elements that you add to your already existing regimen. Now, one thing I will preface this with is that I will never advise anyone to invest in supplements because that's exactly what it is, an investment. If you already are struggling with your nutrition and your fitness regimen. Um, so you will need to have your nutrition up to par if you want to see the benefits of supplements right you have to have a solid foundation in order to be able to take things to the next level with supplements otherwise it's just going to be money down the drain wasted coins fifty dollars here thirty dollars there you know just just gone with the wind and you don't see any results from it and that's the last thing i want you guys to do because i have been in a period of time where i wasted money on supplements because i wasn't really uh going hard with my nutrition so with that being said, I want you guys to be very, very cognizant of your nutrition regimen, right? If you're eating adequately throughout the day, you, especially if you're tracking your macros and you're working out with, on a consistent regimen, then at that point in time when you're ready to take your results to the next level, I recommend supplements, okay? So for starters, um, I really only use two types of supplements personally. Um, and those are pre-workouts and protein powders, right? So I have actually done a video on protein powder, breaking down what it is, where it comes from, the production, what the point of it is when it comes to adding it to your regimen and things of that nature. So make sure you guys check that out. I will link it in the description below. Um, but yes, for starters, um, pre-workouts, right? You guys may or may not be familiar with pre-workouts. Um, if you follow a lot of fitness influencers, influencers, fitness trainers, fitness models, you've probably heard the term pre-workout um, before. So what pre-workout is, is basically a booster. It's basically a performance booster you take before your workout. Hence why it's called pre-workout. Um, and what it does, usually you take it in between 10 and 30 minutes before your workout session. I normally take it about 15, 20 minutes before leg day or glute day. That's the only time I really take pre-workout. I don't take it on my upper body days, but days where I need a boost of energy, I plan on going very heavy. I plan on going very hard. I have to have my pre-workout that's going to help push me through that session, okay? Um, so these are the two that I use specifically. This is the pre-workout um, by Women's Best. I actually have a code which is linked down in the description below. This is sour peach candy, it's really good. Um, I use two scoops of these. This is gluten-free, lactose-free, and vegan. Yeah, yeah, for my vegan ladies. Um, and it has all of the details on the back, but most pre-workouts contain um, caffeine. That's one of the key ingredients, and that's why I get you up and going and pumped. Now, one thing I will say when it comes to pre-workout, I have a rule of thumb. I do not take pre-workout after 5 p.m on any day and you want to know why it's because if you take it too late in the day it will have you up and going all night right it will have you bouncing off walls it'll have you scrubbing the floor it will have you doing all types of things at 11 o'clock 12 o'clock midnight and you'll wonder why you can't go to bed so if it's after 5 p.m i try not to take my pre-workout i take this earlier in the uh, afternoon 
or in the morning. Um, this is the other brand that I use. This is called Stage One. This is in cotton candy. It tastes really, really well, uh, really, really good. Um, this one is a little bit stronger. One thing I will uh, say is that there is a wide spectrum of <clears throat> strength and of, 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 of strength, I'll say when it comes to pre-workout. So there's beginner pre-workout for the average person and then it goes all the way up to pre-workouts for the the 300 pound 6'2 guy who can bench press um, 400, you know? So it's a wide variety. So if you go to most supplement stores, usually the associate there can kind of help navigate you and let you know what'll be a good one for you and where you are in your journey. But don't just shoot blindly and just, oh, this looks good because that might be a very, very, very strong pre-workout uh, supplement that may be way above your, um, your level of fitness and what your body can handle. Well, another thing I'll say about pre-workout is that your body does build tolerance for it over a period of time. So if you're taking a pre-workout consistently, you may notice that it may not really get you as pumped as it did initially when you started on the pre-workout. So sometimes you have to take a step back and decondition yourself by either um, going on a binge where you don't take it at all or switching to a different one. Um, and I've noticed that, um, yeah, if you take it too often for months and months and months, uh, sometimes even weeks and weeks, you can build tolerance to it. So keep that in mind. Um, so that's a good thing that I have too. Like I said, this one is a little bit stronger. I've tried a ton of different um, pre-workouts. These are the ones that I prefer personally uh, right now. And yeah, they get the job done. And I'm telling you, you will get that itchy feeling. That itchy feeling that you feel and that you hear about people having before their workouts where they're really giddy and you just gotta move, then that's exactly where that comes from, the pre-workouts. Um, and it, it makes you have to <laughs> have to push yourself, have to really go hard. But on days, like I said, where I go heavy with my lifting, these work very, very well. They work very, very well. So I recommend those. Next up is my protein powders, right? Um, so these are my protein powders that I use. These are actually the same brand, just different flavors. Um, or actually, this is the, I think, the 10-year anniversary bottle. Um, and I'll start with this one, I guess. This is Formula One. You can find these at supplement superstores. This is a little bit more expensive. Um, this is the whey protein isolate, which is the purest form of whey. And if you want to learn more about whey and protein powders, like I said, I'll link my other video. Um, and this has a lot of essential BCAAs, which you guys know are the building blocks when it comes to muscle. So if you're trying to grow, then... <laughs> protein powder is awesome protein powders come in a lot of different forms mass gainer meal replacements um whey isolate regular whey hydrolyzed whey this is the whey isolate which tends to be a little bit more expensive i think i paid right around 50 bucks for this and usually you get about 30 uh to 35 scoops in any given uh, container and it gives you instructions on how much to take this has about 20 grams of protein in each Scoop, which is a lot. Um, it has three grams of carbs and one gram of fat and only 100 calories per scoop. So this is for a fit if you're really trying to focus on building muscle but keeping your uh, fat content down. And the reason, and that's why I prefer the isolate is because it has a very low content of lactose, carbs, and fat, but it's high in protein. Um, so that's why I prefer this. This is the chocolate mint chip flavor, which is my absolute favorite protein powder flavor. It goes well with everything. I use this in my smoothies, my fruit smoothies. I use this in water. Sometimes I'll just literally pour it in a um, glass of water and just drink it. Sometimes I'll mix it with my smoothies. And you know you have the different smoothie combinations of fruit. This one tends to go the best with pretty much anything. It tastes just like a Girl Scout Thin Mint cookie. The best. This one was Fruity Loop, and I've also tried the CTC, which is supposed to taste in, or taste similar to Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but this is by far the most tastiest protein powder I have had yet. All right. <laughs> now, this is the other protein powder I take. This is by Women's Best. Y'all know this is one of my favorite brands. I also have a link for this in the description below if you want a discount or if you're interested. This is the Fit Whey Protein as well for them. Um, this is in the flavor Cookies and Cream. This is pretty good. Um, 
This is 24 grams of protein per scoop. This one was 20, this one is 24, and this is 111 calories um, per scoop. This one has 1.5 grams of carbs and 0.9 gram of fat. 5.5 grams of BCAAs, which are your amino acids. And like I said, you guys need those. Those are essential. Um, but yes, this is really good as well. 33 servings in this. Um, I like it. I pour it. I use this for my smoothies as well. I normally just use this for smoothies. Um, <clears throat> unlike this one where I pour it in water and drink it, this one I use in my smoothies specifically. And I like it. I know Women's Best has a mass gainer. They also have, they have a whole host of products from creatine um, to, like I said, mass gainer. They have a vegan option as well. And yeah, so you'll find anything that you need specifically for your goals and where you are right now right so those are pretty much the only two um supplements that i take consistently i do periodically take um a supplement called ignition which is paired with the uh protein powder and it helps with muscle recovery faster muscle recovery um and getting that glycogen your glycogen level here i'll actually grab it for you guys this is it right here as you can tell it kind of looks just like this um, quicker recovery time, anabolic environment, explosive muscle gain. So yeah, it restores your glycogen levels and it speeds up the process, right? Um, so this is higher in carbs. This is per scoop. It's about 43 grams. And that's the purpose, right? To restore those glycogen levels. Um, so normally, um, or lately I haven't been taking my ignition because I've been trying to keep myself a little bit leaner. So it throws off my macros a little bit. Um, I've been getting a lot of my macronutrients from nutrition specifically, just my nutrition and my diet. And that's kind of how I like it. But I have been adding my protein in one to two times a day um, in the form of smoothies because I'm trying to really gain and focus on getting leaner, which means my muscle development is going up and then my fat content is going down. So it's good, it's, it'll give me a more fit look. What do you guys think? This is after two days off. I've been going heavy with my weights. Um, but yes, this is this is how I'm looking, which I'm loving the look. I just have to tighten up a little bit. I have a photo shoot coming up, so sticking to my goals pretty, pretty avidly. But um, yeah, I hope this sheds some light. You guys can definitely find Women's Best at the Vitamin Shop in your city. If you guys have it, I know they'll carry it there, or you can order virtually online and have it shipped to you. Or you can get the Formula One online as well. Um, or you can go to Supplement Superstores if that's in New York City. This is, um, I think Supplement Superstore is branded. Um, this is their branded line of products, Formula One. So I think it's specifically only found in Supplement Superstores. But you can also go places like GNC um, and to other, you know, supplement stores where you can find products like this. You can even go to Walmart, I know Walmart, Usually near the pharmacy section, they have some form of supplements that you can check out as far as protein powders, and they tend to be a little bit more affordable. Um, so just make sure you guys are doing your research and you're really being, um, you're paying attention to where you are in your journey, right? And where you wanna go. But like I said, the most important key in all of this is making sure you have a solid foundation. So making sure you're cutting out the BS when it comes to your diet and you're already eating adequately, right? Because you don't wanna start spending money on supplements, expecting this to make changes because these are only gonna take you to the next level. So if you already can't handle level one, then don't expect for this to take you from level one to level two, it's just not gonna work, right? You gotta have the foundation first and this is the next step, right? You gotta have a foundation you start on and then you take the next step, but you can't take another step if you, yeah. yeah. You see where I'm going, you tracking with me? So that's the point I'm trying to make. Um, but also make sure you guys are drinking adequate amounts of water. I'm on a gallon a day right now. And that's helping me get to my goals, my games goals as well. Um, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited to see where I'll be in the next week, in the next month. 2021 is all about going hard, you know, because this is a major comeback from that setback we had last year in 2020. 
But with that being said, I hope this was helpful. Make sure you guys drop in the comments your favorite supplements. If you guys have any questions, make sure you drop them in the comments below. Like I said, I will link my Women's Best discount code in the description. I love Women's Best. It is my favorite athletic wear brand. Um, and if you're interested, I also have on an outfit. This is not from Women's Best. This is Bow and T. This is an awesome athletic wear brand that I absolutely love as well. So I have a link for this in the description below. If you are interested in checking them out, I am a lover of beautiful athletic wear and gym wear. So uh, make sure you guys check that out. But in the meantime, in between time, I will let you guys go and I'll see you later for the next video.